knew when she was a freshman. Like I heard that she was coming and I knew she was just different. Um, and, and hearing Coach Gasso kind of talk about like what she could be able to do when she gets on campus. I remember specifically actually this time when she was a freshman, it was the Palm Springs Tournament Mary Nutter Classic and watched her play. And afterwards, we kind of chatted a little bit about, you know, how are you feeling? Like, how's your freshman year going so far? What's different? You know, all that stuff. And she had mentioned, um, you know, all of the comparisons that people were making, like, man, you're the next Lauren Chamberlain, like you're the next Lauren, like we finally have that person that's, you know, come along. And we had talked about how, how badly she wanted to be the one and only Jocelyn, right? Like not the next Lauren, the one and only Jocelyn and how important it was for her to write her own story and, and create her own narrative around this entire thing. Uh, so I knew it from the jump that it was going to be her. I'm glad it's her. I'll tell you, I'm very happy that it's 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 going to you know stay in OU's OU's pocket. But um, it's been just amazing to see her flourish, and it's it's cool because I remember those feelings as a freshman. Like I just have this whole blank slate, and if she's coming in and and immediately being compared to me, like that's tough. Like that that's that's pretty. It's a completely different situation for me. I didn't really have Stacy Newman was it was 13 years prior and she was on a completely different team. So it's a, it's a de it's definitely a different situation. Uh, but as far as giving her um, advice and and I think sometimes it's not so much advice. It's just knowing that someone else felt the things that you felt. Uh, so for her being like, hey, did you feel these things? Did you have these thoughts? Did you doubt yourself? Did you ever like think maybe I wasn't going to do it? Like, of course I did. And sometimes you just have a little bit of relief knowing that the person that did this before you felt those things. So you're not on your own. You're not, um, you know, questioning yourself as much. You're like, man, this is just, this sounds about right. It's part of the process. So um, my biggest piece of advice to her has been just keep swinging, just keep swinging. So I think the biggest the biggest thing is just showing my vote of support. And a lot of people have always been like, I wonder how you feel. Like, how do you feel? How do you feel? And I'm like, okay, this is going to show how I feel. Like I'm going to rock an aloe jersey and just, just be a fan, right? And it's been so awesome to like take that role as a fan and be sitting in the stands and watch it. Because, you know, when you've done it, you've done it, but you were a player. Like you didn't really feel the feelings of, you know, sitting in the stands watching someone create history. And I think it's so cool to be on that side of the, the fence now and be like, oh man, I'm actually watching this in real time. Like, so this is history happening in our sport. So with the Jersey and I get quite, I mean, I guys, I get tweets about this all the time. Like, where can I get that Jersey? And I'm like, I, I'm, I'm not sharing my secret sauce yet. Cause I want Jocelyn to make some money. So we're going to, we're going to figure that out, but we, uh, having it made and, and just being like, I I want, like, I was going to do like a, I know I did a coach gas one, but I'm like, I want to do like aloe on the back, like her number, like just show my vote of support. So that was fun. Cause people were like, Oh my God, you're wearing her jersey. And I'm like, why wouldn't I like, absolutely. I am. So it's, it's been fun. And it's fun to see like, Oh, you kind of clip the videos from the world series and I was going crazy, but it's nice. It's, it's fun to be a fan. Well, number one, I love Jocelyn. That's no question. Um, she's like family to me. Like that's, that's a sister to me. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, you think back and I always operate like this, like, what do I wish I would have had? Or like, what do I wish, like, how could I have made this easier if someone kind of reached out to me? And, and I've, I remember specifically the conversations that I had with Stacey Newman when I was getting close. Um, and it was just a little tweet DM, you know, we weren't, we didn't have each other's numbers. We didn't call each other up, but just a, that little vote of support was like, oh, she's rooting for me. Like, it was just such a relief of like, oh, that's cool. And the only person that understands what I'm going through is her. It, like that's it. So to be able to kind of like lend out that hand and just be like, girl, friend to friend, like I got you. Like I like no one else understands. And when you when you're in that room and you're in your you know apartment after a game and you didn't get it done and you think you're slumping and you don't know if it's going to happen, like that's who you want to talk to because you just want to know if they felt the same way. Like you just want to know if the, if this is something that's ever crossed their mind. So to be able to be a voice for her and not the, the voice, because I know she's got a great support system, but at least someone that can, uh, you know, share that moment with her and, and just reassure her a little bit. Um, it's a lot easier that I like her. <laughs> it's a lot easier that I actually care for the girl. She's awesome. I'm thinking specifically back at this last World Series was just so fun. I got so many texts like you guys are wild now. I'm like, yeah, we're having a good time. It was just the the Sooner Sisterhood and being able to connect with all of all of your people and um, you know, not only like putting on for your class and being like, man, like we went through all this stuff, but acknowledging that you've got like, you know, however many athletes that are going through the same thing again. Right. And so you just, there's this built-in bond. There's a built-in sisterhood that nobody can understand unless you've worn the Sooner Jersey.
and that's it. And that's, that's how that culture, you know, really starts. Uh, but it's, it's, no, it's, it's been exciting. I miss, I miss those moments all the time. And I think it's funny, like with this home run chase and, and how everything's going, it's bringing back so many memories of like how, not only like, how did I feel, um, but just that time in my life, it was such a special time in my life. Those four years were like the, the best. And so, um, yeah, I, I miss it. It's exciting. I think it's going to be kind of like a cool, like transfer, like, okay, like this is your time. Like the sport's growing. We're moving in a new direction. Like you're the queen now. I think that's just cool. But yeah, it's a, it's home run you baby. Like that's it. Like we, it's, it's crazy. And then, and then thinking about Tiare coming up right behind Jocelyn and just the, the potential, but yeah, when you rewrite the record books and it looks like all OU at the top, that's something to say. Shout out to coach Gasto. Uh, so WPF women's professional fast pitch. Um, yeah. When I got the call to become commissioner, I was like, absolutely. Like I, I, this is probably gonna be the harder thing that I've done in my life, but uh, yeah, I feel like I'm built for it. So the, uh, the challenge I think is having experienced the height of NCAA softball and just the beast that it is and all of the support that it has. And then how do I carry that into the professional level. And that's been the age old question that we've always wondered is like, why is there such a drop off? Why can't we continue you know, to follow these players? And um, I think branding has to do everything with it. I think visibility has to do everything with it. So um, at least getting somebody in the, the commissioner spot and, and getting people involved that have a little bit more visibility and, and can really connect the right people. Um, it's exciting. I understand the opportunity that I have ahead of me to really build something and and um, make it last and make it viable. So um, it's exciting. It's been very, very challenging. And I say that in a, in a good way. Like I've, I've been wanting a challenge like this for a long time. It reminds me of chasing after something, right? It's like the same type of feeling and um, that excitement of getting in a room with with a lot of money and, and seeing who can buy into to professional softball. It's It's really cool. Um, but I think the most challenging part is thinking as an athlete versus thinking as, as a businesswoman and thinking as an athlete, you, you know, you wonder why aren't people supporting this? Like, why aren't, why isn't the money coming out? Why aren't people just jumping at the opportunity to make this the biggest thing ever? Right. And as a player, you're like, I know my worth, I know my worth. Um, but then as, as a businesswoman on the side, you're like, man, there's just so many other things that go into it. It's not that easy. Um, and there's a lot of layers and levels to it. Um, so it's, it's hard, it's challenging, but it's like such a good challenge. And I know that when this bites, it's going to go and the people that are getting in on it now, um, are going to be really cool. But honestly, shout out to, to Oklahoma. We've been, we've been moving with conversations and, and just getting people on board. And it seems like the people that support OU softball are really, really invested in this professional, um, development. So it's exciting. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.